What's going on everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. Switching over to AEW. So we know AEW has their annual all-in show for Wembley Stadium on Sunday, which will be tomorrow by the time this is or whatever the case is. But so we're gonna have to give our predictions. Now, this year all in is not it, it don't have as much as it did last year. Last year they had about <clears throat> seventy-two to 80,000 people. That's not what they got this year. I think from the last time I was checking their, their ticket sales, they were at 45,000 to 50,000 people, which on a, on a, any kind of show is still a, 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 a ton of people. Let's not sleep on 50,000 people. I mean, SummerSlam just had 57,000 people. Okay? So, there's still a lot of people. It's just not as much as they had last last year, which you can see the decline a little bit, and I do think a lot of that has happened for what the, the position AW was has been in, what's been going on with there, their storylines, the their, their drama that's been going on, and I think that they have to find a way to really get help get that excitement back. Also, because when it comes to this, oh, you still there, Prime? Oh yeah, okay. Because. Yeah, in my personal opinion, when, when it comes to as all in as your biggest show, and I understand you don't have, you still don't have some of your key players because I think they uh, they put this whole elite takeover storyline on the back burner until they can get Kenny Omega back. Because I I really think that Kenny Omega was trying to force his way to be able to become be part of all in to go against Okada. And to keep that story thing going, but right now, that that storyline has been ice cold. And I don't know if you've been, because I honestly, I, I I haven't been following AEW like week by week when it comes to Dynamite and Collision. I just haven't been doing that, and and I've just been doing other stuff also. But see, no, you got a real fan like Kiwi. You got to keep them grounded. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, the little results things, but I, you know, honestly, I, I uh, recently I have been watching some clips from Ring of Honor because hell, all my girls is over there. I'm, I'm like, damn, Red Velvet, Athena, Queen, uh, what's, what's that, Queen Atamata? Yeah, I think uh, Dustin Rose might be paying creator or something. Like he got two titles. Yeah, it's, tell me about it. He's over there killing it at like 57 years old, right? And I'm just like, um, okay. And I'm just like, but you know, I don't know when Ring of Honor comes on or does. I, I don't know where to watch it. I don't, because I don't look for it. I never was a big fan of Ring of Honor. And I'm like, if they get their, um, if they get a TV deal and they can have Max included, I would like to see some, you know, of that stuff included in, in, in the Max subscriptions. I can see some Ring of Honor stuff, but. Other than that, I was looking. I was like, "Oh man, this is kind of dope over here." But uh, I haven't watched it much today. I see that Collision is now they got a uh, a, a residency, so they got the, that they got the little venue in there. I, I, I thought that's kind of cool. I think that that's a nice look for for Collision. Dynamite has been, you know, on certain nights they've been popping, but once again, it's just that we got this all in show, and it feels like a lot of so some of the storylines, some of the things. That that was going in here has kind of lost its luster a little bit, and I feel as though because I think they still be handicapped between having all in and all out two weeks later, also, and once again I know they want to play up to a, a niche audience as the, the diehard indie going fan or the wrestling fan, but I do think there's some storylines here that I feel as though that just carry some more weight, and I'll get to get to what I'm talking about in a second. So, let's get on to this card. We have a 10-match card, which is, believe it or not, low for AEW. Uh, 
but a lot of the, uh, but I, I will say this along with me saying that I feel as though that some stories can prevail uh, most of, of the something I got going on ha has been built up for weeks so I am looking forward to it so you ready to give your predictions part at least at least yeah, what you wait huh I'm gonna tell you, let's go. so the pre uh, the, the zero hour pre-show there is Chris Statlander and Stokely Hathaway yes I'm not lying versus Willow Nightingale and Tomohiro Ishii did, yes did, did, I don't tell ask me why I don't know but that's what it is and it's a mixed tag team match and the winner the winning team will choose the stipulation of the match between Nightingale and Statlander at all out now they have had a, a, a rivalry going on I'm probably the only one that actually got that Ozzy Brothers Stoke the Hathaway with the Willow and Chris shirt. I love that shirt, by the way. And oh, say what? Who's the heel? Statlander's the heel. She's the one who turned on Nightingale. Statlander's one. Yeah. Even with Tomo Hill, he should beat that Stokely Hathaway because he ain't gonna, you know, he gonna Stokely Hathaway is trained. They're gonna beat him down. They're gonna beat him down, but I mean, the heel always wins the advantage match. You're right. You're right. So, and, but but so far, it's been an actual pretty decent rivalry. I, I just felt as though that, in, in my personal opinion, that the group didn't last long enough for it to be like some legit. Because you, you see the coming, but I was like, that Willow and Chris and Stokely Hathaway thing, it was like, it was dope. And it, it, it lasted for about a month. It lasted for about a straight month. I was like, I just bought like when, when the T-shirt first came out. I just bought the T-shirt. The next week they bring it, bring it up the group. I'm like, y'all ain't giving time to breathe or nothing. Shit, I'm glad I got the I, huh. Hey, what you think about Y two AJ shirt? Oh, oh, that somebody's wearing that in a rainforest right now. That that Y two AJ shirt was so. If you had, that that is a relic. If you still have that, uh, but yeah, so. I, I have to agree with you. I think Chris Statlander is going to win here. What? Just, 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 just spitballing here. What match do you think that they're going to pick? Or she's going to pick? Uh, what match? Have, what? Uh, um, I don't know what kind of rivalry they have. So I can't say like two out of three or three stages, nothing like that. I, you know, honestly, that's why I was going with it. I was thinking about two out of three falls match because, <clears throat> but once again, they like. Their woman to get kind of violent, and Will Nightingale does does do pretty good with like violent, but because I think she will pick like a you know a death match, <laughs> but I do think um I think it's gonna be like a two out of three falls. The, I mean, yeah, I can see that. I I don't know what Tomo Hero is like. I, I haven't been keeping up to know why Tomo Hero Ishi is here, and obviously that um. Uh, he gonna have to take on so so get without if now AW is kind of different if he just straight up attacks Chris Dan later one day you know Nightingale got this but neither here nor there I I root for you Thicky but uh she 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 gonna win it all out then we have a fatal four way London ladder match for the AEW trios championships that. Is a lot of fucking people in a ladder match. That's twelve people. Uh, okay, I will repeat it for you. A fatal, no, a, a four-way, a fatal four-way London ladder match for the AEW Trios Championship. This, this, this is. There are two matches on this card that is that is basically be like, hey. We got to get every motherfucker on this card. That's, that's basically what this is. We get on. We used to get on Vince about it. Well, now we about to get on Tony Khan for doing the same thing. Because we got the uh, the patriarchy. We got Christian Cage, Killswitch, and, uh, Kill and Nick Wayne. Uh, then we got the Bang Bang Gang, which is Juice Robinson, Austin Gunn, and Colton Gunn. We got House of Black, which we already know is Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews. And then we got... Pack and the Black Bull, the Blackpool Combat Club, which is Claudio and Willie Yuta. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't know. I mean, 
Uh, I, yeah. Maybe, maybe Pat can win to get that win, but other than that, I don't really matter to me at this point. Honestly, because I, I, I didn't know that the patriarchy. Like I said I haven't been, I haven't been following for the past couple weeks. I didn't know the patriarchy was. Yeah, I, knew. Well, I know they was champions. Yeah, I don't know if they fought for it they just gave them the title. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, I think... I'm thinking maybe they gave it up. But I'm not sure. But I think in the... Bang, bang, gang gave up the title for the, uh... uh not the Ascension. The... The claim gave up the title. So I'm going to take it with the title. This man said the Ascension. <laughs> Yikes! Not the Ascension. Honestly, I'm just gonna probably say that it's either gonna be House of Black or the the, the, the Patriarchy with uh, you know Christian K. Because having Christian with a title is great, so keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Next, we got a three way tag team. See, like I said, it's called well, Let's. Yeah. Just to go back to the Christian real quick, I seen a match when he was the referee. Uh, Christian was Such a heel. Crazy. Crazy. I, hey, sleep too, I long sleeve referee turtle. I, I, I got, I got to find it. Like he said, yo, make this into a turtleneck. Stop it. So, we got a three-way tag team match for the A-Day World Tag Team Championships. The Young Bucks taking on FTR, taking on the Acclaim. I do think this is going to be a good match because it's the Young Bucks and the and FTR in there. But once again, when it comes to this elite takeover, I, I haven't been following it much. It has been it's been kind of cold on that front. But I think they're going to still try to maintain uh, this storyline going forward. I think the Young Bucks retain. Where, where do you have it? It's, it's the Young Bucks, FTR, and the Acclaim. I would like to say FCR, but I think FCR, they just not coming back. I think he was, like, hurt for a long time. I don't know, they... Well, I mean, I don't... Like I said, when it comes to the summertime, I've been in and out of AEW, so... Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know they were hurt. Like, they was hurt, like, indefinitely for uh, a good little while, and they just not coming back, like, maybe a month ago. Okay. So, it might could be FCR just to give them a big thing. Uh... That could be FTR. I'm going to say it could be FTR. Okay. What? Right. If they want to do the takeover, it could be the Bucks. If they don't want to lose the title yet. So, yeah, I say the Bucks. Because, uh, Alpada and Jack Perry, I'm assuming, still got their titles. So, yeah, I say the Bucks. Well, J- I mean, Jack Perry got a, you know, he, he, has, a, he has a match, uh, in, uh, tonight for that title. Which, and, and, you know what? He got, custom, he, got, he got a custom title. No, Jack, well, I mean, he still got the, it's still the AEW TNT Championship. Yeah, but I'm saying he made it like he made it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, it still bothers me that even though I still haven't gone through all the matches yet, that Okada is still not on this card. Hey. I mean, I would personally I would agree with if you don't got like if you don't have a showcase match for Okada, don't try to shelf him in a, a trios match or whatever, and they're probably learn their lesson from doing that. I mean, I, so, I do agree with you. Even though I felt as though, like I said, I'm pretty sure they, they wanted Kenny Omega and Okada for this all in, but insane. It it just it just you know it it just it is it just sucks basically. Oh wait a minute, hold on. I didn't check. I didn't check. Okay, yeah, no, he's okay. Next up, we have a casino gauntlet match, and this is for a future AEW World Championship match. So here's what's in the gauntlet. And, and the entry number. Well, at least the only one entry number is Orange Cassie's number one. But then we got Mark Briscoe, Kyle O'Reilly, Hangman Adam Page, Evil Uno. What, Evil Uno? Really? Okay. Roderick Strong, Dustin Rhodes, Matt Taven, Mike Bennett. So, listen. This is a one. This is another one of the matches. Get everybody you can on the card. However, I don't know what the storyline is behind 
Darge Cassidy and, and being number one, I, I I gotta I gotta catch up back up on onto the the storyline the storyline parts of it. Uh, however, when I look at this gauntlet here, I, I'm thinking it 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 it's, has to be Hangman at a page. Out of all the names I mentioned, and th that that takes me back to what I was talking about at the beginning. When when Hangman first came back, right, and I felt as though he was slated to win the Owen Hart Cup because th he was going to renew that rivalry with Swerve Strickland, and they, there's heat to that rivalry. And then they just was like, okay, well, we want Brian Danielson in here, which Brian Danielson was going to give a great match with Swerve. He's going to give it his all, and you got to have Brian Danielson on a card like. When we stayed, especially when I don't think he, he was on that card last year. But I felt as though it was like I, I just felt as though that the better story, in my personal opinion, was Hangman and Swerve. Now, once again, I could need to catch up on something. I I, I did watch Dynamite uh, last week and this past Wednesday, so I'm caught up more so on the on the Brian Danielson and Swerve thing. But I'm just saying. I don't know, but I feel as though he's probably going to win it and then cash it in so he can do Swerve versus him at All Out in two weeks. But I think that I felt as though that Adam Page was the the it looks to me to be the clear old winner in this gauntlet match. Now, out of all the names that I said, which one do you think? I mean, Adam Page still got that Swerve. Like I think I don't think Swerve will be like a big like, if they do it right. Adam Page and Swerve could be the John Cena Randy Orton. I mean, it could be, and I said, I said, I thought it would have been Adam Page and Swerve in the main event in All In because of how hot the story was. But I was like, they're look, look, they may be saving it to for all, all out, and I'm like, uh, okay, cause I know you, 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 this is the name when you have it like you know back to back like this. I think I think I, I what you say? That's the only thing I don't like. Yeah, I, honestly, I think in the future, just combine the shows, okay? Combine all in, all out, and just and, and make it, you know, you know, uh, we all in this together. So like that. I don't know, just just call it something different, and just have it as a big st stadium shows. Because even Tony Khan was talking about next year's all in to move it out of Wembley and take it to another stadium. I'm just like, like, did you think it even Texas? I was like, we are going to. Uh some, some stadium in Texas. Say what? They go to a stadium in Texas. Is it going to be Jerry World? Jerry's World? No. Because it's like it's like a, like a Royal Rumble type of like, oh, okay. Baseball. I'm about to say because honestly, y'all can get them crowds internationally, but I don't know how you're going to be doing it in the states right now if y'all don't pick your game up. To be honest with y'all, you, you, you got to pick the game up. But uh. Yeah, I, I got Hangman, so you going with the same thing, you're going to probably think Orange Cassidy. No, I'm going to say Hangman, but real quick, yeah. the only thing about this Texas thing is, they are in Texas, but like, they treat it like it's like Texas. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I think I figured out what you're putting down. Like, the, the, the logo is a big Texas logo. Oh, <laughs> God. Like, hold on, hold on, I want to send it to you. Look at it. It's a big Texas logo. <coughs> All right, so here. Damn, okay, I see that what you're saying. Oh, and this time it's going to be in July. Yeah. Okay, so they, oh, first of all, shout out to that turtleneck. That thing was fired. I just got it. That turtleneck was fired. And, okay, so all in Texas. Okay, I, I see it. Okay, yeah, th yeah, this is definitely, yeah. He hauled. All right, well. We both got Hangman. Okay, here we go. We got the last chance match for the FTW Championship. If Hook loses, he can never challenge for the FTW Championship as long as Chris Jericho is the champion. It is. Say what? Uh, Chris Jericho did yeah, take him taking on Hook. He, he he's gonna be with Big Bill in the Learning Tree. So uh, honestly, I'm kind of over Jericho right now. Jericho is one of my favorite wrestlers, but uh. I'm like, just just give Hook back his championship unless Hook leaving. No, I'm saying Hook, like, Jericho's gonna win and Hook can't challenge him for the yeah. championship. Like, he got the belt. As soon as Jericho loses, he's gonna be the first challenger. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <coughs> Who 
was that? Who was that? That won the belt and then challenged him that night and won the belt from them. It's gonna be like that. Whoever that, whoever that was, they gon' they gonna beat Jericho and then Hook will come out the same night. Like, all right, I'm on shot and then, then win the belt. That would be kind. Of, that 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 would, that would be kind of funny. But I know Jericho has been taunting Taz and you know taunting everybody on that thing. And like I said, I still haven't found because I, I I have not been into the learning tree like I've enjoyed the Jericho Appreciation Society or even um, what's the what, what, what's the other one he had? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, talking about after the Jer- no no the, no no the one when, when he first got the AW the first one that he did. That was. That wasn't. That was, because uh, the Jericho Appreciation yeah, Society is when they. Yeah, no, I remember yeah, it because yeah. it was it was it was Sammy, it was uh, Jake Hager, and it was uh, uh, LAX. Yeah. So. I forgot what the name was. I forgot what the name was. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. Uh, so I forgot what it was called. The pinnacle was MJF's group, right? I believe so. Okay, uh, it's 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 it's, it's gonna come to me, but you know, yeah, it's gonna come. It's gonna come soon. It, it's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna fucking kill my, you know, cause I won't be sitting there thinking about this thing all damn day. Now I'm sitting there, you know, I'm gonna probably just look this up. But so okay, yeah, right now you have Jericho beating Hook, the inner circle. Oh, yeah, okay. There it is. My God. My God. My God. How did we forget that? Yeah. Inner circle, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Jer- uh, yeah. I, I, I think Jericho likes to put guys around him and elevate the guys, but just the guys that he got this time, it's just not not doing it. No, it isn't. Because only got like Big Bill and who else? Uh, what's that black dude name? I forgot. From, from Shane Taylor, no, it ain't Shane Taylor. Uh, God, I forgot who's part of that learning tree. I really did forget. Because, like you I said, know, I'm, I'm not into the, you know, the learning tree storyline. You don't forget all this. You know who they need. Who they need? No, you better not say it. For what? Oh, I thought you were about to say Ricochet. No, they need somebody to put them over. Like, you know, 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 He's leaving, bro. He going to WWE. I'm pretty sure he's leaving, but like, even though like he's been off TV for no reason. Exactly. Like, bro. But then again, Rick Baker been off TV for two years and then came back, and she wasn't even injured. She was off TV. Oh, no, she she did suffer, suffer from an injury. I forgot what the injury was, but she did suffer, suffer from an injury. But then she wasn't out for two years, though. She was out for like, maybe like a few months, and then it was like, well. <laughs> we, we got we, we got nothing for you, but yeah. Okay. Like Jamie Hader. Jamie Hader Where back. is Jamie Hader at, bro? They just ain't bringing her back. Just like Britt Baker, they just won. They not bringing her back. She was killed. She's fine now. Just... Yeah, that that you know, Jamie that Jamie you know Hader how, thing is bothering me. You know how weird it is though. Paige is a regular person in AEW. She exactly. It's crazy. Which. Don't worry, I'm about to get to that in a minute. Uh, oh, well, not Paige, but something else. Coffin match for the AEW TNT Championship. Jack Perry taking on Darby Allen. This is clearly... I mean, it's going to be a brutal one because it's Darby Allen. He's going to he gonna go kill himself because uh, I think he's upset that he didn't go climb Mount Everest. So, I think that um, easily Jack Perry is going to retain his TNT Championship because Darby Allen's going to cough and drop himself right into the coffin. That's how it's going to happen. I mean, Jack Perry is the ultimate troll. I would just have him do it on class again. Have him do one of what? <laughs> right into the camera. Let's <laughs> say, look at how me in the river. That's what I would do. He, he, he probably would. Yeah. You know what? You, you, you know what would be funny like, at, for the finish of the match? If Darby Allen was going to do the coffin drop to Jack Perry like on the coffin... And he just does a does Samoa Joe nope and just walk away, and he just like crash himself into the coffin and close it and he wins. That would be kind of kind of dickish, but I would like it. I think 
they have to do something else. Okay. No, only because I feel like every Darby Allen match, he wins or loses by coffin dropping in the in the coffin. Yeah. So I think they need like a Shane McMahon moment where he just he falls and crashes from something else and they just roll him in the coffin. Or since Jack Perry is fucking insane, he probably would want to get lit on fire again. He probably gonna get lit, lit on fire again. Don't make it right. I'm just saying. Then okay, so uh, yeah, but I, overall I got Jack Perry winning. You got Jack Perry winning. Yeah, I got Jack Perry winning. Well, they in this little group, and they don't got nothing to do for them right now. They all gonna try to keep their notes. Yeah. Uh, next we got a singles match for the AW TBS Championship: Mercedes Monet with C- C- Camille. Is her name? The one that's been hanging out, hanging around with Mercedes, Camille, Camille versus Doctor Britt Baker, DMD. I was excited for this match when Doctor Britt Baker came back. I was like, it's a, it's a headliner match. I don't know. It seemed like a lot of the 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 wind is out the sails in this match. Is that, is that just me, or is it because I haven't followed like I'm supposed to? Would you have agree with that problem or no? I would say that the promos I've been seeing have been good and all that. Uh, oh, you probably only want to say that because people people are not liking Mercedes promos right now. No, I, I didn't say I didn't say Mercedes. I just said the promos. You know, Britt Baker has been doing her job. Yeah. Like Britt Baker can work good on the clock. It's like Mercedes can, but also she likes. I think Mercedes like structure that she can go away from and then come back to. Type of thing. Okay. Some people, some people, some people need need structure. Some people need structure. Sorry, I kind of saying that. Uh, but I, as much as because uh, I don't see Mercedes losing just yet. It's possible, but I don't see Mercedes losing just yet. Do you? Uh, I see. I don't think her movement just shit, but if they, if they had to rematch two weeks later at All Out, then yes, yeah, she don't. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, you're right. Okay, fair enough. Listen, man, you win at WrestleMania and lose all wrong. Exactly. <laughs> that or backlash. That or backlash. So, okay, you know, you, you, you got a good point. It's probably, they probably had to have it like that. Uh, also, okay. I, yeah, I, I got Mercedes when they retained and probably Britt Baker wins it all out. Next one was Bash. This one I'm actually kind of excited for. Timeless Tony Storm taking on the uh, the glamour Maria, Mariah May. I thought this storyline has been doing good since they done it. Honestly. I felt as though this uh, from, winning the, uh, from winning the Owen and her turning on her and her doing all the Tony Storm stuff, I thought this was this this, this was pretty good. And from seeing how things have been playing out and to see how Tony Storm has been going on like a rampage, uh, she, Tony Storm's gonna win this match. She's gonna beat Mariah May because definitely Mariah May just knocked her out on Dynamite, and I'm just like, uh, yeah, you you ain't laying down the chain. Wait, 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 wait. Who champion? Tony Storm. Tyler was Tony Storm. Oh, why did I think? You know what? I'm slow. Yeah, the Tony Storm was gonna win, but again, <laughs> again, I feel like Mariah Ray gonna win it all out. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like a couple of matches gonna be like that because you have something so soon and so close. Yeah. But like, it's like I feel like you would give Tony Storm a big win at the big show because of the storyline, but you give Mar- Mariah made the most important win. And all out. Yeah. That is, that is a possibility. That is a possibility. Uh, so yeah, I'm marking that for Thomas Tony Storm. Like I said, that Mariah May attacked her on Dynamite and took her out. But now, yeah, she's gonna um, she'll get her look back. Cause that's the way. That's that's how them types is. You know. Uh, now let's get into this real quick. We got MJF. Taking on Will Ospreay for the AW American Championship. The MJ t- uh, it's not international no more. It's the American Championship. Mm-hmm. First of all, 
is this for Ricochet debuts? Or does Ricochet get his own, you know, time to be on the mic? In your personal uh, opinion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax on that. Ricochet is not getting the mic. I, 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 I agree with you on that. I'm just saying. Because, it's like, uh, uh, is he going to come out and help? Uh, Will Ospreay, or uh, is he going to just be like, hey, hey, we, we, we got Ricochet here and then call it a day, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he comes out to beat up some people, but knowing AEW, they could just have a segment where somebody talks and he comes out to beat him up. Uh. Like, remember last year when Jeff Jarrett was on the mic and then, like, <laughs> big show, some people just came to beat him up? It's gonna be, it could be something like that where they just talk the trash about... I don't want wrestling new fans or the worst fans or whatever that Ricochet can come out of these Yeah. So it could be something like it's just a segment. Okay, because look, now, now here's the thing. We was just we was just talking about um, so, somebody just came back and just it just came in there and they were just being lost in the sauce and they it, like oh you say Soraya is just a regular person on the card now. Mm-hmm. That, honestly, look, I understand Ricochet wanting to get. I understand there has probably. They, Triple Triple has had some booking issues over there also when it comes to booking some people because Bobby is gone, which that still bothers me. So <clears throat> I can understand when it, if you feel as though you're not being used to your full potential. But with, with all the, what made Ricochet special WWE is because nobody could really touch him on what he was doing. Now Ricochet is going into a company where half the roster, and I, okay, I'm not going to say half the roster, a quarter of the roster can do. Uh, cool things that Ricochet can do, which doesn't make him as special anymore. And since Ricochet, huh? I don't think Ricochet going over there to be. Not to say he's not going over there to be world champion or anything, but that money talk. And, uh, you know. I mean, yeah, I I get it, but also he he's there, and I'm like, but is he just going to be another spoke on the wheel? You know, is this or is he actually? Yes. It, But that's not real. I'm being dead serious. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There's going to be yeah. another uh, player in the game. That right there is it's like, well, I, that's not what I'm excited for. I mean, I, I get it. I, I Trust me, I get it. But that's just not. I was like, what? Really? Okay, well. what? I, I want more for Ricochet. I, I really do hope he has a good credit. He's going to give us A1 matches. Him and Will Ospreay are going to kill it. Either he's going to give us gymnastic style matches. He's going to give us all that stuff. But I want him to be rough and not just another guy on the card. Because I I, I do feel as though that Triple H should have gave him a, a, a chance. or But, you know, whether he couldn't find a spot for him or not, I'm just saying, as of right now. I was like, hell, he, they, they could have did her business 2.0 with Ricochet instead of Cedric. Just saying. Or something with Carmelo or something like that. It could have just been something different. I, I I thought turning Ricochet heel, because he'd never been a heel over there. Turning him heel would have been some kind of new things to his, new to his flavor. But once again, they probably like, well, he he ain't that great on the mic, so being a heel, you go. But what we you never know until you try it. You know, Wesley. Yeah, but his moveset, his moveset's all, you know, things. But so is Wesley's. Wesley yeah, just. But he just, I'm just saying, he, that's what I'm saying, he just turned heel. He just turned on MSK. He, so, I don't, excuse me, not MSK. He just turned on the uh, the Rascals. He turned on them. And everybody was intrigued, like, yo, I'm, I'm curious to see where this Wesley heel turn is going to go. So he, he has a match, I think, with, uh, with with Nick Carter, I think it is, on at No Mercy. And we're going to see what a, a heel Wesley kind of like really looks like. And it's like, but you just never know until you try it. And right now, people uh, people have got intrigued by Wesley's heel turn. I think you could do the same thing with Ricochet. Just saying. So right now, I, it's just like, okay, yes, I, I, I like to see Ricochet have great matches, but he's just coming. I don't, I don't want to see Ricochet come over there and just have great matches. I want to see Ricochet come over there and be a champion. Or it, 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 be, it, 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 too much. I'm be honest. He should, if I'm asking for too much, he should have stayed WWE then. All I'm saying, all the reason why I'm saying you ask for too much is because when you think about it, every time somebody come over, we're excited. We're like, all right, we want to do something. Like, Keith Lee was supposed to be a big, major player. Oh, my he God. Yes, yeah, sure. You, you, you ain't he never lied. Like, he was supposed to be a big, major player. Like, he was supposed to be a big, major player. Like, he was supposed to be a big, major player. Like, he was supposed to be a big, major player. Like, he was supposed to be a big, major player. Like, he was supposed to be a
I'm gonna say some of the people that came over were like, all right, they about to be a big player, and they just in the background. So, I mean, I hope Ricochet can somehow get up there, but he's older too. I don't know. You're right, but you know, so but even with that being said, it's still about the match between MJF and Will Ospreay. Who retains? Uh, I mean, not retains. That's that's that, that's spoiler on my pick. Who wins the match for you? Because I got MJF yeah, still retaining. MJF. Yeah, I think he still retains the championship. I mean, they've been teasing this, you know, Will Ospreay using the Tiger Driver '98, I believe it is, the one that he hurt was her Dan Danielson with, but um. Yeah, MJF gonna get that. He might get that shit on the floor too. I don't know. So main event time, title versus career for the AW World Championship. Swerve Strickland versus Brian Danielson. Now Brian Danielson won the Owen, which means he gets the the, the shot at the championship at uh, uh, the shot at Swerve at All In. But this is for his career to win the title. I'm not ready for Swerve to lose a championship yet, but I don't think Danielson is just going to be like, "All right, this my this is my last match." I, you know, I I don't know if that's going to be the case. I, 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 he knows he's getting older. He said by the time his daughter turns six, he's retiring. I don't know how old, uh, Birdie or some or whatever his daughter's name is. Not okay. Well, I don't know his daughter's name, but whatever the time is. Uh, but do you think Brian Danielson hangs it up now? Because he finally gets to have that stadium show at, at, at Wembley Stadium, or uh, Swerve retain? Uh, the, 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 does he does he win a championship, or does Swerve retain? Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, Birdie is seven. Damn. Okay, I was. Okay, so m m maybe uh, this is it for Brian Dance if he was serious. You know, cause he he year off. What, that he wants to that he wants to retire? No, not that he wants to retire, that he has to retire. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I mean it, it it'll be a good way to put Swerve over and it'll be a good send off for Brian Danielson. Yeah, because I don't think initially they were supposed to fight or anything, but like something happened where like he was just getting hurt and hurt and then like it ramped up like, yo, you don't have to stop soon or, or you know say basically the same reason he had to retire in the first place. Yeah. So they spin it up and they just they shoot up shotgun and put him in. Imagine and say, "Hey, this is your retirement match," just so he can have that main event match and go off on his terms. Yeah. It's, I feel like it's something like that because uh, that's just what I've been hearing in the recent weeks. Like I haven't really been watching really, but I have been hearing like, "Yeah, he about to retire like now." So that's what I'm saying. Understand, understandable. So. Because I don't want Swerve losing his championship this year, I'm picking Swerve Strickland. Yeah, I'm picking Swerve, but um, I'm gonna say Brian Danielson retains the championship. This gonna be the, the final countdown. I feel like he'll come out to the final countdown. You know, he might, uh, he might come down to the ring, or he might have Nikki down there somewhere. Uh huh. Or Nicole Garcia now. You know. He might have her in the crowd somewhere. Uh, Birdie might be in the crowd. Like, they might actually do, like, a big, like, you know, this is my actual last match. And that's it. He might just go and join the, you know, the, the whatever he do is backstage. Uh-huh. But I do think this is his, his final match. And then put Swerve over big time. But, uh, yeah. I think he loses clean, too, because you can't have this be your final match and don't lose clean. And you don't want revenge on a person like Exactly, but I think I, I like I said I also think that it would be a good thing, uh, a good way to put Swerve over. Yeah, I think it would be yeah. a, a be a good way to put Swerve over. Like, like yeah, I, really is over. Uh, I mean, he's he, he, you know he's over. I'm saying, but like like legit, like okay, now he's the champion because he just been kind of like okay, he's champion. He been having an opening match, some of that. No, no, he is the champion. He is the cornerstone of your company. You have really got to put him over in a big way. And I think putting him over in a big way would have Brian Dancer put him over. You know, especially for all... Because if, if Adam Page is coming at all out, 
you, you, you need to put Swerve over big here. Especially when Brian Dancer had the last word on Dynamite uh, on Wednesday. So I think I think it, I think it, it will definitely do him. It will definitely do the body good, basically. 